Haken, Wastelanders, Ryan from War Games News Radio, back again, this time with a, another Fallout Friday scenario. This time we're taking a look at the second scenario. It was released for the month of November to December, uh, and this one is called The Vestiges Resurgent. So once again, I've done a whole lot of painting and building for this month's Fallout Friday. We've got a lot of new models and a brand new piece of terrain to play with this time around. So without much further ado, let's get into it and see how our Enclave Patrol is going to fare against a band of wily robots. Sigma Squad, this is your president, John Henry Eden. We need you to secure Site Q. A abandoned military outpost. We have word that it may be heavily guarded, so be wary, but do your best. God bless America, and God bless the Enclave. You heard the man, soldiers. Robots be damned. For the Enclave. Error, error. Processing speed reduced. Incoming hostiles. Defend bunker. So for our Enclave Force, we have one Hellfire Trooper in Hellfire Power Armor with a Flamer. Of course, he's got a Flamer. Uh, and then we've got two Enclave Trainees, each with a Plasma Pistol. Now, the Enclave Hellfire Trooper has the clunky special rule. So on his activation, uh, we'll roll a blue die. And if we get a star, uh, he'll start off with a stunned uh, marker, which is not so great. Uh, if we get a explosion icon, then he'll start with a minus two and a black uh, die. So a bit of a catch-22 there. Some some good points, some bad points to that special rule. But uh, hopefully when we make those rolls, we'll just get Coke bottles and everything will be hunky-dory. And defending the command post here, we've got uh, a bunch of robots. We've got three Protectrons, which is... I don't know if that's a good idea to take on against just a couple of Enclave soldiers, but we'll find out. And one very scary battered Assaultron. So this is going to be an interesting one to say the least, but I'm pretty excited to get these robots um, on the table and see how they're going to hold up against our Enclave soldiers. Goal of this scenario will be for our Enclave force here to make it within yellow range of the command bunker, well, the command bunker satellite, I should say, uh, and the more models that the Enclave has in uh, yellow range of that bunker uh, versus the robots, they'll get a counting point uh, at the end of each round. Now, the robots, on the other hand, are going to try to stop our Enclave force from doing that. They're also going to attempt to gain some items from these searchables here, uh, and uh, the, every searchable they get, they'll get one counting point for that as well. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword for the robots, whereas the Enclave is just trying to get up close and personal with that command bunker and secure it for the mighty, mighty Enclave. So as per the scenario rules, uh, this entire area in between these barriers and fences here is all going to be difficult terrain. So uh, it's going to be one movement ruler shorter for anything trying to move within this green length area all the way down the board. The scenario proper calls for some lockpick searchables, but because robots don't have lockpick abilities, I'm gonna change those to computers for the sake of this video. We're gonna designate one half of these as lucky and another half as unlucky, and depending on a coin toss, uh, will depend on which two groups deploy first. Uh, the remainder of the force will deploy uh, starting at the beginning of the second round, um, and depending on how lucky this team is, uh, either one or two models uh, will spawn in that round, or perhaps none, so we'll see. Let's take a look at the board. Here we've got a couple of pieces uh, that you'll recognize possibly from our last video. We've got some fences here, which were used in the uh, Undiscovered Vault scenario, but we've also gone ahead and created some of these Jersey Barrier type blockades, tank traps maybe, whatever you want to call them. They're big, they're concrete, and they get in the way. And the piece de resistance for this month's scenario, the command post. Put a lot of work into this bad boy. Got a couple neat features. Number one, this dish actually spins, which I'm super happy about. We've got a nice little light here, removable roof, removable roof. This bad boy is magnetic. 
And we've got a little glowing reactor there as well. Uh, look for the terrain talk on how I built this little bad boy coming out very soon. But for now, let's get into the action. So after scattering deployment, we got one on this far corner and another on that far corner. And then these two will spawn in in following rounds. Because the Protectron is moving into this area of difficult terrain, uh, its movement is going to be halved. So normally this would just be one move to get into base-to-base -base contact with this searchable. But instead, uh, it's going to be two actions. So one, two, and let's see what the searchable is. Oh, free item. Look at that. I'm using the Fallout Wasteland Warfare app uh, by James Morris. Fantastic companion to the game. Great for building lists uh, and for keeping track of games while you're playing, especially in AI mode. So I'm a big fan of this. Can't say enough good things about it. So instead of using the uh, recommended event uh, and Wasteland deck for this uh, mission, I'm just going to use the random ones that are generated uh, in the app. So let's take a look at the Wasteland deck and see just what this Protectron has earned. Addictol removes all addictions. Not super handy for a bunch of robots that can't take chems, but uh, who knows? It's, that's the Wasteland for you. More importantly than that, that's going to be one counting point for our robots. So I'll keep track of victory points here. This side will be for the robots. This side will be for the Enclave. Speaking of the Enclave, it's time to get this team moving. So let's try to get the Hellfire Trooper up the field first. But first, we need to roll for its clunky special rule. Hey, lucky us. No penalties because of the Coke bottle. So let's start moving. This clunky old Hellfire armor still got another battle left in it. There's one move and two moves. So next turn... He's going to enter this difficult terrain and trying to get to site queue. Second Protectron is also going to try to make a play for this item at the dumpster here. So that's going to be both its movements to get not quite in base space contact. It'll be able to get there next time around. That means it's going to be time for our trainees to go and um, they're going to get to go just both in succession. So I'm just going to get them moving up the board, flanking Buddy in the power armor. Standard Sigma Squad formation. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but we're gonna say it is. So at the end of round one, we've got our Enclave crew uh, about to get into the difficult terrain, sort of rubble debris pile here. And we've got one Protectron about to make a play for a counting token and one who's already got one. Bringing the score at the end of round one to one nothing. So we are now at round two. Let's see what our event is. Under pressure, metal pressure is intense, eyes twitching and your vision blurs, hands shaking, your feet seemingly stuck to the ground. If your force is outnumbered by the enemy on the battlefield, oh, we, we are not outnumbered at the moment, so uh, no effect. Lucky us. The event for round two is forest fire. Smoke from the hills hangs in the air, making it difficult to see with confidence. Each model may perform a maximum of one action that is a movement during its activation. Quick actions are not affected. Ouch! That's going to hurt considering we've got a lot of ground to cover and uh, some difficult terrain to do it, so not the best. But it is Sigma Squad 6's turn uh, up first, so let's go ahead and see what that clunky special rule is going to do for us. Ooh, so that's going to be a minus 2 to any skill tests, uh, but also gains a bl extra black die when making attacks for our Hellfire Trooper. Uh, in this case, not going to do too much, but this might be interesting. Let's, uh, because we can only move half distance, let's go ahead, well, I guess it would be right here, 
and find out maybe we can get a free item. Ooh, it's a lockpick test. Hellfire Troopers actually do have the lockpick uh, ability off a luck of three. If you want to get to know a little bit more about the Enclave units, uh, go check out my uh, Better Know a Faction video on them where I break down some of the objective uh, runners and that sort of thing. But in this case, we can actually go ahead and try to make this skill test, see if we can't get an item out of the deal. Oh, no dice. Now because of the scattered defenders special rule, let's go ahead and flip and see if any other robots show up this turn. Ooh, lucky us. No robots appearing this round. With the forest fire rule in effect, I've uh, decided to go ahead and throw on some forest fire terrain. First up is our purple Assaultron who got the move action. He's gonna try to get in base-to-base -base contact with this item and see. Ooh, a hack. Uh, Protectrons actually are one of the few robots which can't hack, so looks like that one's gonna have to be better left for the Assaultron if and when it shows up. But, in the meantime, uh, it can take its second action. For its second activation, it also got the move action, uh, and because we now have this Hellfire Trooper screwing around in the green zone and getting closer to Command Site Q, he's gonna try to take a shot. Long range, shooting over uh, an obstacle, uh, so it's actually going to be a minus two to hit, which means he's only gonna hit on a uh, critical or an action point. Ooh, that's a fail. No dice. So that's going to make it one of the trainees' turns. And seeing as they're in this same sort of... They can only move once, and they've only got short actions, we're going to see if we can't get this lock picked. The trainees also can pick locks on a three. Hey, that's a three. We just got ourselves an item. The Enclave crew just got themselves a squirrel on a stick. Not bad. Uh, it's a cooked food item, uh, which is going to remove three hit points. With our glowing forest fire marker in the background, this Protectron is going to try to take a shot at this Hellfire Trooper, who uh, is not in cover, unfortunately. Protectron at long range, hitting on a three with an extra black dice. Ooh, that's going to be a hit for two damage. 2 damage versus 3 plus 1 Hellfire Armor. Oh, stops 2. So that's going to bring it up to our last Enclave trainee, who only gets one move and is going to be moving into the difficult terrain sort of zone. So that's going to put him just on the other side of this barrier. But now it wouldn't be able to get in contact with that item. So we're getting there slowly but surely. And thankfully, we've taken this option away from the robots. So start of round three, we got the static buildup card. Atmospheric conditions create a change that disrupts electronics. For this event, all um, computer skills are at a minus two penalty. Now for the scattered defender special rule again, we're going to flip a luck token. Uh, if it gets comes up lucky, then that's time both the Assaultron and a second Protectron are coming onto the board. Oh, yep, that'll do it. So we're going to scatter the Protectron, well, we'll call it on the opposite end. So go to the very far corner there, and the Saltron at the very back of the board. Protectron back corner, and the Saltron back behind Outpost Q. Rut row. So lucky for us that Assaultron is going to go first, uh, and it got the attack action. So it's going to try to move uh, and get into base-to-base -base contact with one of these folks. Now the Assaultron moves red and charges green, so it's going to take a big move up the board to about there. No, it can't charge into anyone, but it can take another move, which is also going to prime up. It's a Sultron head laser. So that's awesome. 
So with one more action, that Assaultron is going to have its head laser primed, and it is right in the middle um, of the Enclave Force getting to their objective. So I have a feeling things are going to get a little interesting. So the Hellfire Trooper is going to make a bold play. Uh, normally it can charge red, but because it's in the difficult terrain, it's going to charge yellow. So we're going to try to tie up that Assaultron to then let our trainees get to the objective. So we're going to charge in. Oh my goodness, this is a bold move. And we're going to take a swing with a melee attack. Uh, I've changed my mind. I'm going to use the flamer uh, in a uh, close combat ranged weapon um, rather than try to punch my way out of this situation. So I'm going to attack with um, a green and a blue, uh, normally hitting on sevens, but now I'm going to hit on five. Um, might light myself on fire with this, but the Hellfire armor is resistant. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's a hit. That is a hit with... A light on fire. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So now we're going to roll damage. The Assaultron has a 1 plus 1 armor. Ooh, blows through it. Now because I used the Flamer in close combat, I actually need to see if I injured myself. Uh, so I'm going to roll uh, my armor. It's a 3 plus 1 armor on 2 damage. Okay, so I stop everything. So that's going to deal 2 damage and light this little dude on fire. Next up is the purple Protectron, which is trying to try to take a move, and then a shoot into this guy. Shooting through cover, so minus two to hit, hitting on a crit or an action point. That's a miss. Next we're gonna get this trainee to start making some moves out of the difficult terrain zone. So first move will be to there. Second move, I should get us in base-to-base -base contact with this stack of boxes here. So let's see what this is. It's a search. Interesting. So next play, be able to get into contact and into the zone for scoring some points. Next up is this protector on here, which is going to make its movements to try to get towards the action here. Last up, this Protectron is also going to move, but it can only go half distance. And then it's going to try to take a shot. Long range, shooting through cover, critical or action point to hit. Ooh, that's a miss. I could have done some pretty nasty extra damage, but it's a, a miss with a quick action point. They don't have any quick actions, so um, they're not going to be able to spend that this turn. Last but not least, the second trainee. Uh, we're going to make a play also to try to get towards the uh, building here, but we might as well see what these tokens are on the way. That's a lockpick. So at the end of round three, things are getting interesting. We've got a melee with an Assaultron and a Hellfire Trooper here. These Protectrons are closing in. And this one's just about to get into the action. So, start of round four. Heavy rain, abundant rainwater, increases conductivity across all surfaces. For weapons that deal energy damage only, any blank yellow is treated as an armor break. Um, that's actually not going to come in handy here. Uh, the trainees both have plasma pistols, uh, but they don't deal yellow dice. So, um, too bad. If I had laser, it would have been a different situation. But what that is going to come in handy for is the battered Assaultron head laser. Uh, it does have a yellow die, um, and it could have a chance to prime it up this turn. But before any of that happens, we're going to try to move one of our Enclave trainees here. He's going to move his orange distance for his first move. And I'm just going to go right for the interior of this thing. So, because I have my modular 
set up. This guy is going to go right, in, right inside. He's going to hold the objective. Whew. First up for the robots, the purple robot, who's going to take a couple shots at this guy in cover. So taking two shots, uh, hitting on a uh, crit or an action point with a green or a black. Ooh, that's a miss. And a miss. Because I only score counting tokens if I have more units uh, within yellow of this satellite dish than the opponent, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get as much distance on this trainee as I can. So it'll be its first move to there, and its second move, and set up shop in front of this. Now, next up is this Protectron, uh, whose objective is going to be to defend. So he's going to try to move to get into contact. He's within shooting range, so he's going to take a shot. Trainee is using the wall for cover, so it's going to be a short range shot uh, hitting on an action point or a crit. Oh man, good thing that was a miss. Close though, that minus two could have been bad. That's going to make it our Hellfire Trooper, the commander of this Renegade Sigma squad, um, our last Enclave guy to go. Uh, so we're going to make a bit of a different move here. Uh, I'm going to take a uh, improvised melee attack, uh, but because my strength is higher than seven, I'm going to get a black die. That's more like it. Quick action, uh, only for one damage though. A one plus one armor. Hey, going to do one more point of damage to the Assaultron and gain a quick action in the process. Uh, all I can do is prepare. Next up is this Protectron, which is going to try to take a shot at this trainee, but it's through the fence. Long range through cover, hitting again on crits and action points. Oh, that's a hit for three damage. My word. Trainees have a laser armor of one. So let's see how this does. Ooh, stops one, takes two. That trainee is now feeling the Protectron burn down to half health. And last up for the robots, the Protectron, on the start of its activation, it gains an extra fire token for being on fire. And let's find out if it puts itself out. So flipping luck to see if the fire goes out. It does not. Still on fire. Assaultron swipe uh, hitting on fives. Oh, just a hit. Just a hit. But a minus three to hit as well. So that's going to deal two damage. But rolling three plus one armor to stop. Stops all of it. Now that attack has actually primed the Assaultron's uh, head laser, so we're going to go ahead and make that shot at a minus two penalty to hit. Four damage on a three plus one armor, so I'm hoping for that three to stop all points of damage here. Okay, stop three, take one. So that now puts two points of damage on our Hellfire armor, uh, so it's almost busted. So that is the end of round four uh, and with that having two folks one inside one outside uh, within yellow of the satellite dish we've now tied the game by getting an extra counting token um, but things are looking a little dicey hellfire trooper is getting some action this protectron is coming in close and this one was able to deal some damage from far away so anyone's game at this point two rounds left to go Robots activating first. First one up is the purple robot. Purple robot is going to move and shoot at the Hellfire melee. Oh, that's a hit with an extra damage, three damage. But let's see who it hits. 
on a one or a three, it'll be the Hellfire Trooper. On a two or a four, it's actually the Assaultron. Oh, that's a one. It hits me. Uh, but we've got three plus one armor, so looking for a two or a three to stop all that damage. Well, that's a one. So we're going to stop one, take one, and that's going to break the Hellfire armor. Youch. Now, even with broken armor, the Hellfire Trooper uh, is still pretty beefy at 3-3 three, three, and 3 damage across the board, um, and a plus 2 to strength, but just going to lose that plus 1 armor, which is really going to be too bad. Seeing this robot coming for his neck, uh, this Enclave Trooper is going to take a shot, uh, and then he's going to run inside with his buddy. So, Plasma hit Pistol hitting on 4s. Oh, that's a hit! That's a hit for four damage! Four damage on three laser armor. Oh! Stops three, takes one. Dang it. That was a good shot, too. But this Protectron is now taking a bit of a hit, and this buddy is going to run inside with his friend. Boop! This Protectron uh, moved up two movements uh, still in that difficult terrain speaking of hellfire melee uh, we're going to take a melee with our hellfire trooper and that's a hit one plus one physical armor on the assaultron speaking of which guess whose turn it is takes one more point of damage just for being on fire and then let's find out if he's still on fire a luck token means that fire's gone out. Oh, getting lucky on that at least. But here come the attacks. Assaultron swipe, hitting on five. Oh, that's a hit for an armor break. So that's three armor versus two damage. Stops both. Second attack, hitting on fives. <sighs> two armor break. So, two damage, one armor. Oh, it takes both damage. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Hellfire Trooper now down to five of his seven health after that hit. Yowza. Last up on the Enclave is our guy on the, is our man on the inside, but um, he's not gonna do anything. He's just gonna hang out and prepare, I guess. The Protector on. So shooting into the melee is actually going to make it easier to hit, so he's actually going to be hitting on fives. First is a miss. Ooh, second is a hit, but let's see who it hits. On a one or a two, uh, sorry, a one or a three, uh, it'll be the Hellfire Trooper. On a two or a four, uh, it'll be the Assaultron. That's the Hellfire Trooper. Yay! So, two armor versus two damage. Ay, he takes both. That's not great. He's only down to three health now. Well then, heading into the last round of combat, we've got a Hellfire Trooper who's still holding his own. Um, two trainees hiding out, trying to hack the bunker here. And a bunch of robots closing in on our... Hellfire Hero. So for those of you playing the home game, we've now scored another point. So that's going to make two counting points, bringing us in the lead uh, against these rascally robots. Uh, but it's not over yet. Final round, we've got the Eerie Mist event card. Uh, any attacks which are not melee are going to be at a minus two penalty. To make things interesting, because I love it when I lose, we're going to see if this Protectron can't even the score. Moves in here, picks up a free item. Now, doing some quick math, I figured out that if I can get the Hellfire Trooper within counting range of the bunker, then that'll be an automatic victory. I'm gonna see if I can't get everybody inside the bunker. So we're gonna take a short range 
move here to disengage from combat, but that's going to bring about an Assaultron free attack. Camera accidentally wasn't rolling uh, on that dice roll, but uh, it was a hit with an armor break. Um, luckily rolled a two armor, which was exactly how many I had, so two armor stops two damage, but that was a close one. Finishing off this yellow movement puts the Hellfire Trooper also inside. So with our Hellfire Trooper now within sharing range of our guys inside, he's going to go ahead and use that squirrel on a stick and remove three of his five hit points. Again, mathematically, as long as that Hellfire Trooper doesn't die this round, which is possible, then it's an auto win. Fingers crossed. Um, but we're going to throw everything we've got at him. So we're going to move, this guy moved orange. Now he's going to take a shot at his hand laser. Ooh, that's a hit for an armor break. Two damage, two armor. Takes two. And then, really, it's just going to come down to what the Assaultron can do here. So let's just charge him in. So for his attack, he's going to get a yellow. We're going to get a black for the charge. And a green as normal. Hitting on a five. That's a miss. There is a Wasteland God. That's a miss. So it's all come down to this Protectron, folks. And here we go. Improvised weapon attack. A black die for the charge and a green die for outnumbering the Hellfire Trooper. Hitting on ones. That's a miss. That's a big miss and thank gosh it was too. And with that, we've got an Enclave victory. Sir, we were able to power down the console. That should shut down the robots. Not a second too late, Trooper. You just might get a promotion for this. Quick, establish the relay uplink. We need to make contact with headquarters. These robots might come in handy. Well, that's gonna do it for another Fallout Friday battle report. Um, this one went a little bit better than the last because we actually got a victory, uh, mostly thanks to the sheer beefiness of the Enclave Hellfire Trooper. Uh, check out my video on uh, the Enclave Tactics special rule um, so you can get a better idea on how to run some of your Enclave forces. Um, because they didn't have anyone else in power armor um, for this unit, didn't get to use those special rules, but I have a feeling in the next Fallout Friday scenario, uh, which is apparently going to be linked to this one as well, it's the first in a series, uh, we might get to upgrade our points a limit and maybe throw on a couple other sets of power armor in the process. So um, stick around for more videos. Uh, we're going to do a terrain talk on how I built the Site Q bunker. Uh, that's going to be the next stop. Uh, and then we're also going to take a look at some other factions down the road as well. So stay tuned. Lots more content coming your way from War Games News Radio.